Hey guys, this is TJ Plays now, and today we are back with a new episode on a new thing that I'm going to be doing for a couple of episodes, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But today, I want to go ahead and teach you guys how to use edit mode on the server of beautifulness, and I should really fix GUI scale. There we go. Alright, so today I'm on Dead Rising, and I'm going to teach you guys how to use your custom map that you should definitely download right now. Plug for that. It's very beautiful, very amazing. Go go get yourself this thingy and make your own custom zombies maps. It's beautiful. But, alright, so first thing, once you get onto your custom map, you get onto it by doing community maps and clicking on that blue button that's there. You're going to want to type slash edit. Alright, now once you're in edit mode, you got a whole bunch of different things. I have completely reset the map, so that way all of the things are wiped and nothing is there, so that way I can teach you guys how to do things. First thing you might want to go ahead and do is use your location editor. Right click this and set a lobby location. It defaults to zero, zero, zero something, I don't know. And then you're also going to want to set up an origin location. We're going to just set this up right here as well. Alright, beautiful. So now what you can go ahead and do is create an area. This is needed for many different things. We're going to add this area and call it um, outside power. Alright. Outside. Oh. Well, it can't be too big. So let's call it O power. Alright. O power. Outside power is what it stands for. Alright. We're going to create one more area just so that way we have it. But before we do that, we're going to click this area to set it as the base area. Alright. The next thing we're going to do is add another area. Um, this area is going to be inside power, so we'll just call it I power, okay? I power is done. Boom. Have it. Now what you're going to want to do is come over here to this fancy block builder. This thing does many different things. Uh, let's go ahead and click zombie spawn, alright? So that is this one in the list. Zombie spawn and click your base area, O power. Alright, click yes to use and all that fancy stuff. And we're just going to place it right there. Very beautiful, very perfect. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is open up the block builder yet again and click on barricade builder because you want a barricade that the zombies have to go through in order to get to the player all right yeah all right so place those down wherever you want first you have to click the zombie spawner and then you place them down and it's very easy just like i just did all right so now you're going to want to go ahead and let's place a perk down so in order to do a perk you just you click on your block builder and click on perk builder then you right click this make sure you do this facing a certain direction and we're going to go ahead and just put quick revive right there bam done beautiful i love it all right now the last thing you're going to want to add is a mystery box into the base area because all of these things are usually at your base area all right we'll just put the box right there very fancy all right so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to probably also want to place down a couple guns. Now for this you're going to have to make sure you guys have a wall placed down. For this I'm just going to be placing it right here. And the two guns that you normally place down in the spawn room is the Olympia. Click select on that after you do that. And now we get to choose the gun's price. We're going to say 500 for the Olympia. Now the Olympia is there. And the other gun is the M14. Alright, so click M14, click to use, and set that to 500 as well because... Those are the default prices for those guns. Alright, now you're going to do Block Builder, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do doors. Doors are very, very interesting and fancy. Can't talk. So, when you click door, first thing you click door, it pops up with this empty list. Add door, and then you have to choose the two locations it goes between. So this door is between O power and I power, that's outside of the power and inside of the power, and then click to use these areas, alright? Now we can enter the name of the door, I O power in this, that's inside outside power. Alright, now you're going to want to go ahead and click on door. Next thing that I do, rather than making the door, is we are going to middle click it, and this will let us set the price. So say we want this door to be 1500 and now we have the price of the door done. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is click the door yet again, and actually click it this time. And it'll open up this very fancy build thing for you. And all you're going to want to do is break all of the blocks that you want the door to be. So, all the blocks where you've already placed down the door or whatnot. And just place those back down. So that way it says, 
um, doors being placed and all that beautiful stuff. And if you mess up, you can go ahead and break a block and it will remove it from the door. Alright, just like that, everything is finished with the door. Now we can go ahead and just right-click this Enter Editor. Alright, so now we have the door placed. Now the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and place a power sign. And the power sign is just going to be right here for now, I guess. And click Done. Successfully set the power location. Boom. 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 Finished. Alright, now that we have power, let's add in a gobble machine inside of the power area. Just that way, you know, you have more of an incentive to coming in here. All you had to do is place the power machine, or the gobble gum machine, and boom, done. Alright, and Pack-A-Punch, I'll also show you guys how to do that. It's very, very easy. You just click Pack-A-Punch, and you place it. And then you place it, and it changes the location. That's probably the coolest part about it. Alright, so now, Block Builder, and that is all of the blocks that you can build right now, because there's not a lot of likes on your map. But, what else you could do is come over here to Settings, and you can change the custom name. The city is what I'd like my custom name to be, so we'll change it to that. Alright, then you can enable or disable this map. I suggest only enabling it once you are ready. You can turn on or off Hellhounds. When you do that, it doesn't update the inventory right away, but now you see they're enabled. We close it and we reopen it, now they're disabled. Alright, you can choose a wonder weapon. This is probably one of the crazy cool things. You have a buttload of different wonder weapons. We're just going to use the thunder gun here. You just click it, and then click to use this gun. Boom, done. Magic. Then there's the last thing that you can do. You can cycle the time. This basically adds time to it. Very simple. You know. Alright. Then you can also add an editor. In order to add an editor, you have to click the add an editor. But the player has to be inside of your game. So first you have to invite super cool player, okay? Super cool player. Alright, then super cool player has to join the game. Um, Alright, after he joins the game, you just click add an editor and you type in super cool player. Just play player like that. But now it tells you slash invite, you know. It's just acting funny because I'm funny. And then you can test run your map and do all the fun stuff, or you could completely reset the map. That is how you make your custom map. Now, there are a couple things that you might want to keep in mind. Area man management is a very hard thing to do if you're going to have a buttload of different areas. So we have this big road right here that we want, but say in order to get to the tunnel, we have to make another area because we want a door in between this road and that tunnel. You're going to have to keep track of names and probably write something down personally so that way you know just a little bit more about it. it just a great idea. Alright, you're also going to have trouble keeping track of doors. Doors are another big problem. You'll have loads of these, trust me. Alright, but besides that, there's not many things. Now, when you are messing with the guns, you must actually do this to successfully remove the gun. If you're not in uh, gun builder mode, it won't remove the gun, and you'll have a lot of problems, and you'll probably have to reset your map. Very painful stuff to do, don't, don't mess up. Alright, and the last thing to do is talk about entering build mode. You just click on that ball right there, just like right there, and you're now in build mode. In order to go back to editor mode, you click back and forth, you know. And what you can do in build mode is a lot. You can do things like slash slash wand, and there's a big list of stuff right here that you can do with world edit. All that stuff, you have all the world edit. And then you have, they're talking about it right now. It's beautiful. You also have things such as, um, actually making things. It's very beautiful. You just, say, place this very fancy slab right there, and boom, done. And that, that is your map. That is how to do things with things. If you guys would like to see another fancy tutorial such as this one, over maybe World Edit or something else that might help you, go ahead and hit that like button and tell me down in the comments. I do hope that this tutorial really did help you and also gave you incentive, in, incentive on buying a premium map. These maps are super fancy, super cool, and it's so much fun to play your own map and or play other crea player created stuff. Like, it's one of the coolest parts about this server. But, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys had an amazing time watching, and as always, we will see you guys in the next episode of whatever it may be. Hope you had an amazing time watching. Peace out.